Hello, Christian Viber. You're welcome to your favorite gospel theme in Blockhouse, Christian Vibes TV. If today's your first time doing the watching, kindly subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell to receive post notifications and alerts. So, in regards to the death and burial of David Heward Mills, plans had advanced and burial of the late one finally kicked off on the 3rd of May 2020 at the Anakazu Assemblies at the Kwapim Mangpong in Ghana. Tributes and respect were paid to the deceased and tears rolled down the faces of many, both young and old. The founder and general overseer of the United Denominations originated from Lighthouse Group of Churches, Bishop Dag Heward Mills, expressed remorseful words in his tribute to his son David. An image captured from the brochure of the service captioned tributes by Father Bishop Dag Heward Mills read as follows. Dear David, my firstborn and the beginning of my strength. I was gladdened and excited by your arrival into this world in November 1990. Today, David, you have left us in turmoil. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73, 26. David, you have been a special person all these years and have made me proud by becoming a doctor some years ago. I am gladdened to hear many testimonies from people who know you better than myself. Speak of your exciting fun life, your kindness to them, and also how you spoke about God to them. You made me very proud by passing all the very difficult exams to become a foreign doctor working in America. I was thrilled when you actually began your specialization in psychiatry in South Carolina. I looked forward to you becoming a fully fledged psychiatrist and I had already saved your number on my phone as David the psychiatrist. I was always touched when I saw that your WhatsApp status was continually a picture of me laying hands on you when you were a child. I thank you for supporting my evangelistic ministry, Healing Jesus campaign, every month with your tithe. Please forgive me for anything I didn't say or do right as your father. Your going away has devastated our home and left us in deep sorrow with a gap not easy to fill. Let's knowing that you were out there achieving all these great feats, made me proud of you. You were my expert on the Ukraine-Russia war because you had lived in Ukraine so many years. I look forward to you getting married as we discussed who you should marry on our last phone call. We will miss your presence, always making fun, always joking, always laughing and fooling with all the other children or the many family holidays we had together. If I had to say three things to you at this farewell, it will be based on these three scriptures, which are impressed upon my heart. Number one, I know that when you stand before God, He will take into account all the factors and circumstances of your birth, your life, and your death and he will have mercy on your soul. The consolation I received of the Lord is in accordance with 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5, which declares, Therefore, judge nothing before time, until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart, and then shall every man have praise of God. Number two, I know and trust that God rules in the affairs of men, and therefore God rulest in you all your affairs. Jesus said to Pilate before the crucifixion in John chapter 19, verse 11, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except if it were given thee from above. That means that God is in control of our lives. God's power is over us and God is aware of everything. Jesus is Lord and he knows what he is doing in our lives. God's thinking is different than ours. God's ways 
and everything he does are higher and better than our ways, even if we don't understand them now. Isaiah 55, 8-9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I have been assured by the Lord that he has withdrawn you and allowed you to be at a far better place to ease your pain. Indeed, to die is gain. I hold on to the scripture that says, For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 1.21 I believe you are at peace now and delivered from all the tension, the evil and the wickedness in this world. I see again, the grave is not the end, David. I believe we shall see you again in the resurrection. Therefore, we as a family shall continue to trust in God and follow Jesus because he has said to us in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. David, Mommy and I will miss you dearly. Goodbye, David, my son. Rest in peace, my son.